Tyler, why don't you... Let, let's let Tyler do the honors. Come on up. picture goes to 12 Years a Slave. No. All right, Dan, want to weigh in on that one? I've got a slave thing. Oh, you guess booing? I, that's okay, 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 okay. Well, I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to shame you for booing. I mean, at least I, I, I did not see uh, what was it called? American Hustle. Didn't see it. American Hustle could go fuck itself. Yeah. Gravity, as I said, can go fuck everything American, and then have it, everything gravity else fuck it. Gravity should not have beaten Twelve Years uh, a Slave. Gravity can go figure out what angular momentum is and have angular momentum <laughs> fuck it up the fake space hole. Well, what should have? Let's go. Does anyone have a list of the nominees? Can we go down and get the consensus of the crowd? What should have won? Her was nominated, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's let Tyler pull it up. He'll be our Oscar uh, curator. Get him a uh, mic. If it's, if it's, it's very, 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 very interesting, though. I, t- I mean, I. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go, could you want to come up and grab a mic so that we can? I don't have to. Yeah, so I don't have to move. Tyler, everybody. Hi. All right. The, li- the list of movies that were nominated for Best Picture were American Hustle, okay. uh, Captain Phillips, All right. eh. Dallas Buyers Club, uh-huh. Gravity, <laughs> Her, Her. Good movie. Uh, Nebraska. Woo! I didn't see it. I didn't see it. She was nominated, the actress in that, the 84-year-old lady. She's awesome. Uh, Philomena. Okay. Didn't see it. Uh, 12 Years a Slave. Okay. And The Wolf of Wall Street. Oh. Yeah, I didn't see Nebraska or the other one. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. I, like, I, I, I saw uh, 12 Years a Slave. I, I, didn't, I didn't see most of them. I, I thought it was good, but not great. I, th- I thought it was a good film, but not, like, not a spectacular film. But know? how good does it need to be? Why is Brad Pitt all of a sudden in the movie at the end? <laughs> that was very silly and egregious. Because he was a producer on it, and that helps get a movie made in this day and age. It was. It was the, the, the fucked up thing about that, well, well I, I'm curious to... I want to read that guy's actual memoirs, because is there a... Is there an angelic, like, handsome, uh, like, a guy from Thelma guy Louise that's just, like, all of a sudden, after all of this betrayal, and you knew when the guy from Deadwood is, like, in the barracks, I'm like, oh, he's from Deadwood, don't, like, like he, he played two different guys in Deadwood, and they're all bad guys, like, like, don't trust him, he's white, he's white, don't get out of there. Uh, it's such a heartbreaker. Like it's so funny watching that movie in bed while you're eating fucking hot wings and thing, like just the thing, like Aaron, Aaron Aaron's comments included. Uh, this guy can't get a break. <laughs> uh, and, and, and my twelve, 12 years no break. And my personal favorite, which I'd actually like to talk about, uh, which is like after watching a little bit of Fassbender in his ways. This guy loves having slaves, like, like, which is which is actually important to talk about because that was a, a, I think that's why that movie was very interesting. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's because of how it was written or directed or or acted. Certainly, the actors are doing a fantastic job. Another question we both had while watching it is what is it what is that set like when they call a cut? What the fuck happens when you call a cut on a set like that? What, I, 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 unlike any other set, like what the fuck do you do? I mean, it, it's probably not a spoiler. I, maybe everybody's seen it, but the uh, well, well, slavery the, is abolished. <laughs> Eventually, it, it was slavery uh, loses. But the uh, the, the lashing scene when he when, oh when, when she gets when she gets lashed and the, like the, the most most movies in my experience like like Denzel and uh, Glory when he's getting like lashed, it's usually the camera's facing the person getting like getting whipped. Yeah, and and there's a lot of like horrible. Like, I think it for no other reason. But when they, so, when they when they when they turn the camera around and and the the, uh, the effects that the they most do. brutal Ugh. the most brutal visuals weren't the CG flesh openings on the ends of the whip, but actually right before that the aerosol mist yeah. of blood yeah. coming off of backs. Uh, the 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 thing that was most striking to me about that movie which has nothing to do with how it was written, directed, acted, whatever, but the important thing that sunk into my 41-year-old brain about American slavery, which was fucking a minute ago, uh, was it was commercial. And uh, on top of it, it was, like, untenable. That, like, it, was, it was so psychotic, the whole thing. Like, every character in that movie is protesting too much and like I always like my, my image as a child of the 70s is always a guy on a horse with a whip having the time of his life while a bunch of people ruthlessly like you know just do things that machines will one day be able to do 
uh, and and it's horrible, and they flip. But the 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 psychology of all of it, it was like I kept I kept thinking throughout the entire movie, like uh, Jesus Christ, who the fuck thought this was a good idea? Like this is everybody that's doing it, the people that are profiting the most are all tangled up in it. Like they they really need to say things to themselves and to each other over and over and over again to make this all right. And more importantly, like the the emphasis on commerce, the idea of debt. The idea that this person, it wasn't just a choice between is this right or is this wrong? Because we as uh, 25-year-old hipsters, uh, we all go, well, pff, what the fuck's fun about having a slave? That's not cool. That's I, I, not cool. I didn't see any of the nominated films, but uh, as far as that's concerned, was there a dissenting voice at all among in the movie at all among... The people who are like, just keep your head down, don't do this. Was there any sort of? Well, it was everybody. What do you mean? Like, like, like. Um, amongst amongst the the titular slaves in the film, were there any? Were oh, there yeah, any of them everybody. There's people saying like, like, keep your head down. Like it's 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 easier. If well, you, they if tell you, the guy like, you can't for, he, for, forget you know how to read or write. So. Yeah, he can't even. You don't tell anybody that you're literate because you'll actually end up getting killed, which is a terrifying belly of the whale realization that he actually the the key to his freedom that he thought was actually in his hand. That, that he thought couldn't be taken away from him, that it doesn't mean anything compared to the color of his skin or the circumstances under which he was born. So, so in fact, the fact that he's literate actually puts him in great peril. Uh, and, and he walks this weird tightrope between it. The, the, but the amazing, like, like, like I, I just, kept, I was just blown away by like, oh shit, this was commerce. This was buying a Snickers bar. This was, this was, the, people kept saying, I owe the, the Shawshank farm, I owe them 50. Redemptions. Redemptions. <laughs> I have to, I, my crops aren't just, it's like the emphasis on capitalism, because that's what it fucking is. And that's the thing, like, we, we pat ourselves on the back so much for, like, outgrowing this concept, but it's not, it's just, it's just barbarism combined with, Rampant capitalism. If you if you if you are allowed to, you will abuse people. There were there. I I I, I, I this movie this has nothing to do with the movie, but I I experienced that epiphany while watching the movie. Even though I I thought I understood that we had slavery and what that meant and why I should feel bad about it. And I but I I kind of didn't. And and that, and that movie made me kind of think about it on a different level. Yeah, I I sort of get where you're coming from in, in that. I mean. The, the stakes are different, but sort of the, the, the capitalism involved in the machine is no different than what it is now. Except, I, do you think that people, at some point in time, went through the numbers and went, if we, you know, actually pay these people and give them wages, they'll last longer. They, they're, I'm sure at some point in time there was a cost analysis done, went, wait, we can make more money and these are, you know, our slaves or our, our people working for us will last longer if we help them kind of along with, a, you know, we don't have to keep the bottom line, it doesn't go up that much. More importantly, if you were allowed to, if the law said that you were allowed to, as as the as the superhuman Amish Brad Pitt who comes in at the end of the <laughs> at the end of the story who comes in with this message and says to this character, if if tomorrow the law said that I was allowed to treat you this way, would that make it right? And and he can't he can't wrap his brain around it because it's so it's so based on uh, hatred. I I I, I it's just like the I, I was just stricken by the amount of work. I don't know how much of it was based on reality, but the amount of work that went into, for instance, uh, taking a lantern and going out to your slave hut and having all of your slaves come into your house and do a dance for you. I, that seems so much harder than just having slaves. Like, so, so, so much work. I would, like, like, it was insane how, how fucking, like, what, there was, there wasn't about well, saving work. He had a lot of free time. So, so, come in, come in, come in the house. Everybody dance. Come dance. They're, then they're doing a dance. The dance has to be taught to them. You have to have a choreographer. You have to, like, like <laughs> teach everybody. And then there's, there's all this anger. Like, You're fucking that slave. Oh, I'm not fucking that slave. I'm going to throw a vase at her. It's like, like, Jesus Christ, they put a lot of work into having slaves, these people. People. All right. Anyways, uh, it was. A, I thought it was a good movie. I, 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 I think it's really interesting. Like my, my first, my first thought as everyone's is, is, oh, well, if you make a movie set in this world, you're not allowed to not be nominated for an Oscar, much less win one, perhaps. If Gravity but I think is nominated, it's, but I think it's Christ. interesting. Yes, of course. <laughs> but I think it's very interesting at what you do with that thought. Do you then like? But you, if you go to Rotten Tomatoes and you look at the scores and you sort them by lowest to highest, like the people that I, I, I out of morbid curiosity, I went and looked at the reviews of that movie 
Like, what are, what are the big detractors of this movie's uh, prestige saying? And uh, it, it's, it, it's, 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 it's very strange. I, 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 saw, I saw a guy with a one-star review of the movie saying, this is, this is pornography for racists and soft-hearted lemmings. <laughs> and I don't, I don't know if that's the most profound thing in the world you could ever say or the most idiotic. I, I don't know what that is. I think that person is generally saying, oh, this is... This is race bait. I don't know. I, I guess if, if you were trying to, if you were to endow that person with an IQ, yeah. that's what they would be I have, saying. I'd have to watch it again. I, I, so, it, well, it's, it's, just a, it's just a clinically it, shot it, fucking it, exploration. Yeah. It's an adaptation of the memoir. It's, it doesn't, the, the camera doesn't push down a bar while the Rolling Stones play. Is it's anybody, not, anybody here, first of all, black or feel strongly about that film, like for, for better or for worse? Anybody here? We don't have, there's no black people that come to this podcast. This. Where's NT when we need him? Oh, he's, he's having an Oscar party. Are you kidding me? Tonight's his night, man. It's, uh, the, I, 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 yeah, I, I just think, I just think it's weird. Like, like, like the conversation that you have between somebody that would bother to insist that that movie not be regarded well. Like, what, at least, what, at least a film that, that, that deals with important stuff, like an actual like heavy matter, like uh, wins, and not some of the piffle that was nominated. Like, like yeah, I'd rather. So, so it's the only movie that's about class systems. It's it's the only movie. Why aren't the other movies? Why aren't the other movies dealing with the fact that there are poor people being told what to do by isn't, rich people? Isn't that sort of the point of the Oscar bait movie? Though, is to sort of specifically go for the things that are the hot button issues. Not to say that they did it just for the purpose of the Oscar bait, but that's sort of what that's that's film's wheelhouse is. You want to kind of tackle big issues and bring to light it. You know, things what, like what that. What was the film? I, I, I'm really ignorant about it. The uh, the documentary about Egypt and the uh, the the, uh, the did that did that win? No, no. Yeah. What, what, oh, the I... act of killing didn't win. Twenty feet from twenty stardom. twenty feet from oh, stardom. Twenty feet from stardom won. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of lot of great documentaries. Yeah, twenty all, feet from stardom is a good uh, the, Like twenty feet from stardom is great, but I'm sorry, I, I the, the act of killing is I I I, 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 I threw a shoe at the TV. I, I I how give 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 twenty feet from stardom remake it next year it's two hours of people saying over and over again that it's hard to be a backup singer i'm sorry it's, it's the act of killing is a fucking exploration of 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 the definition of good and evil and the human condition and our capacity to lie to ourselves and each other yeah, but 20, it, 20 feet from stardom is fun you know like uh, yeah. during the acceptance speech for 20 feet of stardom they brought one of the backup singer speech and the last half of the acceptance speech was her singing about how happy she was yeah she kept singing won. yeah yeah I, I don't want to take anything away from no i mean from, it, it was a good documentary yeah it was, it was fine all of those documentaries were great i think i saw most of them but uh, boy god the act of killing i felt like i wanted to run out into the street and say this is the most important film i've ever seen in my life because it, it, it's it's beyond indonesia it's beyond it's beyond killing it's it's it goes into like what the fuck what, who are we we are insane. We are insane. We are a species of, of fucking liars, and 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 uh, just like we it, we swallow it down, and it comes up through vomit. Well, uh, I don't know. It's, it, 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 it comes to the the point of the you know strong issues documentary versus the interesting thing documentary. It's like is I don't think that necessarily one is patently better than the other. Did you you saw both of them? Did you think that the 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 uh, the, the square was patently a better? I didn't movie see the one? square. I didn't see the. You square. didn't see it. Okay. Uh, someone's raising their hand. Yeah. Uh, that's always uh, good. What's your name? Sam. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm not black. But... Strike one. <laughs> he said, "I'm not black." Um, I'm, but isn't Twelve Years a Slave pornographic? Wouldn't you agree with that? Because that's all. Grab, grab a mic and come on stage. Sam, or if you want to, if you want yeah. to, get over Sam. Then we can hear you. If we have to proceed, then we can we can hear you for the podcast. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Take, taking the very difficult position of yeah, it would be easy to say okay, Twelve Years a Slave is a great movie, but you're saying like intellectually. I mean, yeah, it, it's just. I mean, slavery is pretty bad, but. <laughs> that's, that's a but showing that's how bad it is uh, yeah it's I mean that was the for me was the most like that the 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 bad stuff the pornographic stuff was the stuff that was like oh shit this is really good but, <laughs> but I mean did, other than that that's it that's like it's I mean that's like in Korea like you you put a film about the Korean War and like 
North Korea and the shit that North Korea is doing, that's going to win the equivalent of the Korean Oscars. Which is what, by the way? I want to know. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's called the squeegee. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't uh, that, doesn't that is play, it, are, wait, are you wait, Korean? Wait, I'm sorry, was it racist for me to assume you knew? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ashamed I don't know. Sam, are you Korean? I am Korean. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, it was a bad movie. But did you, how old are you? Can I ask? You seem young enough. I can ask how old you are. That's racist. I'm 30. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. No, because. Congratulations. American, thank you. Um, American Hustle talked wow. about class in a way. I mean, it wasn't the highlight. <laughs> somebody, yeah. like so, speaking of like class, that. somebody in the crowd went... <laughs> <laughs> but so, did they you... talked about black people better than, I think, 12 Years a Slave because it, I feel like it was... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I think I understand the point he's trying to make in that, the, in that a lot of these films that are these sort of... Os- the, the ones that are going after the heavy issues choose to depict these scenes that are very real, that were actual parts of, of, you know, violent parts of our history, you know, dark parts of our history, just to sort of, to get the reaction of people, to, to get them to think, this is something we need to consider, this is something we need to think about. And that, I, I, would say, I would say that that's sort of the point of those films, isn't it? I sort of, I think of a lot of the films in the past, like, they show those scenes that are uncomfortable for the purpose of, like, getting the viewer to sort of think about it and go, look. But Django did a better job of that. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but Django, obviously, it is... like cartoony. Yeah, yeah, it takes place in a mythical universe. That's yeah. the danger. I think that, I mean, you're 30, I'm 41. I think that when I think about the concept of slavery in America uh, the, 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 and the fact that the country's built on it and all this stuff, it's like, this is, this is right back around the corner, but... The fact that I'm able to actually, like, in a post-roots, post-fucking-everything world, like, I was raised in the 70s on, a, on awareness of, of this shit. And yet, I, when I watch that movie, I'm still, I, there is something about the aerosol mist of blood coming off of someone's back that I didn't receive through the movie Glory with, with Matthew Broderick. I, I didn't, I, di- I, I, I needed to... I needed to be brutalized. I needed to watch more pornography about slavery. I did. I, I don't know if that makes it a good movie or not, but I don't. I don't know. It doesn't if, make a best picture though. I. I but compared to these it's other ones, I'm not scene. sure. I didn't see two of them, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't. I thought. I, I mean, it, the, the guy's putting the camera in the right places, as far as I'm concerned. He didn't do anything like you know. Yeah, I, I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't like holy shit. What a what a rock star. Isn't like, the po- <laughs> is that the point of some of these films? Then, like I was saying, to use that. Depiction, uh, like to to sort of jog the oh wait, this is something I need to pay attention to, so to, so they can get their message across. That sort of seems to be a common theme. But with that hot button going around you, if you show up to that set and you put your styrofoam cup of coffee down and you're ready to do the scene with Fassbender and these other actors, uh, pick up the whip. Okay, all right, in this scene you're going to do this and that. Isn't that a good director? Isn't that a good movie? If 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 those people are, but Django should have won. But Django, no, Django's Jan- just, Jan- it's Jan- a comic book. I mean, Django's, Django's just silly and gross. Like, I, I, I had a, <laughs> like, that, 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 that. Yeah, th- that 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 comic book idea of the of the big. The, well, I think this comes yeah. down, but this comes into a very interesting concept because it it, it 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 creates a dichotomy between good movie versus these things that often the Oscars are celebrating, which if, is good for me, conscientious. For, for, for me, if you're going to be conscientious and make important films, uh, like not documentaries, but like but but fictional, or, or in this case, you know, an adaptation of a real memoir, like like really like serious heavy stuff. Like, for me, and I'd have to watch it again to talk intelligently about it. I just feel like it missed for me in some ways, and I don't know what it was. What, Django or...? No, no, fuck Django. Uh, the uh, <laughs> 12 Years a Slave. And, 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 and like, lots of films, like, they, 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 you, you can deal with uh, heavy stuff, but I, I don't think it elevates itself to the, to the level of, like, like, artistic, like, like achievement in film. Like, uh, uh, even if even if Twelve Years a Slave is a really good adaptation of that of that memoir, which I've not read, which I'm, I'm, I'm hoping and assuming is, is you know riveting and better, um, I think it misses on certain levels of like in, in terms of making a great film. Um, but then, what are we replacing it with? Frozen, like, you know, like, like exactly. Like, yeah. What's what, what is a good movie? Forrest Gump. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> what are we talking about? I, I don't know. I mean, like, like, like so these movies that win every year, I, I, and the notable exception is the category of best screenplay, which I truly. But, feel... But now the question is, like, 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 what, what, you know, her. I thought was it was it was it was it was, it was a pretty moving, important movie. I don't I don't know that that's best picture material either. But like, would it would, would a film 
that one best picture, like some of the great ones of all time, like would an All About Eve or would a Casablanca be recognized as, as even a movie anymore? Like would people see it? Would people recognize it? Would the Academy look at it? Um, like, yeah, I, I don't know what their job is anymore. I mean, it's an institution. It's this idea, this like prestigious thing. They did this thing tonight where they paraded out these this Benetton kids, where they were like, they called them Team Oscar or something. Did you see what I'm talking about? They they they, they had like a decidedly multicultural, multi ethnic like group of 25 year old kids, 20 year old kids that they. They taught, I didn't even understand what it was. There was like during a Dove soap commercial, they started teeing it up, and then and then during the Oscars, they brought them out. There was like seven kids. They were like helping with the production or something. I was I was at the, the drawing. And they kind of gestured to them. It was just such 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 protestation. It was such a, like we're not we're not an oligarchy. Look look at this look at this band of of proletariats. I, I, I don't I don't know what no. It, it was weird. On. It was like it was like two during the pre-show. It was like these two the two old white producers who throw the Oscars, being like talking to all these people over webcam, like we're gonna have you and pick you and pick you and you're working on the Oscars. Yeah, and they showed the they Oscars. showed them like crying. Like, cr- yeah, like was, oh my god, I'm on Skype and the Oscars want me to want me to come something. be relevant by being on broadcast television, which gets less viewers like than the, the YouTube is, guy who does the history of dance. I feel like the I mean, also, also <laughs> that this podcast will air after everybody's seen the Oscars and heard about the results, and people here either clearly don't give a fuck because they're here instead of being uh, watching the Oscars. <laughs> uh, so hooray for us, first off. Uh, for not giving a shit about uh, fake pageantry or, or just or pageantry, which is fake. Uh, but uh, sorry, here comes just a really I, uncomfortable speech about how Palestine shouldn't be a state. <laughs> <laughs> I know that look. I don't know. I, I just like. I, I think the bummer is that, that like, none of us clearly here have a real horse in the race and we don't feel like no, nobody feels you're right like, I went down like, a wrong path a, a, with a, 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 great, a great movie went or a great <laughs> movie lost I, I, I just I feel like it's just a case of a bunch of m- movies that nobody gives much of a shit about we're all in the running for a prize that means nothing when the, the victor doesn't like who gives a fuck you're right you're like, fucked up I, like, shouldn't, I shouldn't have mentioned him I shouldn't have mentioned the goddamn Oscars I don't know I, I mean I, we, we, Harold Ramis is dead like, if, god if, damn it if, 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 if Caddyshack were up against these movies fucking Caddyshack, man, that's a nah, great. Movie. That movie stinks. No, it's, no, it doesn't. Uh, Caddyshack, Caddyshack sucks. Caddyshack fucking rules. God, ble- God bless you, Harold. Ramis. No, no, you know Caddyshack no, sucks. That's not true. There's a scene. The scene that's with, a shitty movie. A scene with, a, a scene and, and, with and, and every, everybody out. who has a line from that movie memorized is a fratty fucking no. fuckface. Ca- Caddyshack is dead funny, man. It's dead no. fucking funny. Nope. Yes. Nope. <laughs> no. That's just Caddy- Caddyshack is like a weird fucking b- funny. like Bible for fucking fratty. Funny. Fuck faces. No, it's, that, no. it's garbage. So, so what? So let's get laid. <laughs> <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield is wearing plaid pants. Sounds great. It's so Sounds funny like a great movie. movie. <laughs> it's, it's 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 a string of fucking like couplets. Uh, just, just, do you just, like meatballs? Uh, I do love meatballs. <laughs> Caddyshack is but, better than meatballs. But 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 I have the courage to acknowledge that meatballs is not a good movie. 